Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I just wanted to spend a moment and tell you a little bit more about both of these amps. So let's start off with Mesa Boogie. This amp I got in around 2010-2011. Uh, and since then I've pretty heavily modded it with various things. Including putting Mercury Magnetics transformers in it. Uh, pretty much the choke, the output and the power transformer and also running it with KT88 tubes in 6L6 bias mode. I find that the KT88 give the boogie a little bit more bottom end definition and running them in 6L6 mode instead of EL34 like a lot of people suggest uh, I find just sounds a little bit more clean in terms of high gain application, if that makes any sense. So, another thing about this amp is that it has a, what I refer to as an extra gain stage, which truly is nothing more than a Maxon OD808 circuit incorporated in between the input jack and the preamp section of the amp. When I first got this amp and I was trying to experiment with different sounds, I found that it was really lacking that tightness in terms of the high gain and playing it in drop tunings. So using a Maxon OD808 greatly uh, reduced that problem and I decided to recreate the circuit of the Maxon OD808 using my own parts and incorporated inside the amp on the second channel. So if you consider getting a single rectifier rectiverb amp, um, I think you can get really really close to the sound you heard in this clip just by running a boost such as an Ibanez Tube Screamer or OD808 again in front of the amp just to give it a little bit of a clean boost. Moving on to the PV, as you probably noticed this isn't your typical 6505 PV head and the reason for that is because this used to be a combo 6505 and it has been converted into a head version by somebody else before I got it. Uh, now, what matters is that this is a 60 watt version of the 6505 head. Um, in terms of the sound, I think it sounds really, really close to its big brother 120 watt version 6505. Perhaps it's uh, lacking a little bit of the headroom, but the nice thing is that you can push it into overdrive distortion kind of sounds at a much lower volume. Other than that, this amp is pretty much stock in terms of the electronics, and I'm running the PV in the crunch mode with the settings shown right around now, while the Mesa Boogie is uh, run in the second channel uh, modern mode with the settings shown right around now as well. As you can tell the PV was set to rely on the preamp gain uh, quite a bit with the output uh, power amp section set at around 3 o'clock while the boogie is actually a little bit of an opposite with its preamp section set at pretty low setting and its output power section set at around noon. And that is the interesting thing about these amps is that to my ear the boogie sounds quite a bit better when it's pushing the power section while the PV 
definitely sounds better when it's pushing the preamp section in terms of getting that high gain sound. One last thing is uh, the guitar that I was using is a custom made or custom finished guitar that I got off uh, a gentleman here in Calgary and I actually traded a snare drum to get this guitar and I think the finish is absolutely beautiful and I couldn't be happier with the way this guitar sounds. Um, I don't think there is anything special in terms of the hardware but the pickup is the original Gibson's Epiphone's Dirty Fingers pickup. Not something you would generally go to when you're looking to do some drop A tuned metal riffage but it gets the job done surprisingly well and trust me it sounds even better uh, when you're playing more standard tunings or drop D and drop C kind of stuff. So if you want to know more about uh, the person who finished this guitar uh, just comment down below and I will give you some info about the guy. I'm sure he'd be happy to make some more guitars for people who are interested. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.